Hey guys, Darklight124 here, and I'm coming to you guys with a redstone video. Yeah, I kind of do a lot of redstone, because it's just a habit of mine. Is that oriented right? Anyways, <laughs> um, I'm here to uh, give you the basis of, um, of redstone, and what it does, and how to use it. So right here we have a normal door button. This doesn't require any redstone. The button is right next to the door. So the button in this case is powering this wood block, which is right next to the door, so it gets powered. But um, this door, this button, it still opens our door, but it's not right next to it. So you need the redstone, yeah. And then you can orient it correctly to uh, make sure that your redstone is concealed because when you show redstone, it, things can get a little ugly. So it's good to, um, so see this, if we get a um, dirt block, a piece of redstone, we can conceal this um, like this. Oh, I made a hole here before. So like that, and then make out there. Like redstone connection right here. Test out button opens door, and now we can close it with this. And you don't know there's any redstone here. Ta-da! Okay, so redstone. So there are many stuff that give off redstone signals. So like redstone lamps, levers, buttons. Um, there are also pressure plates, um, pressure plates, so there are two types of pressure plates, um, there's a wooden pressure plate, a stone pressure plate, and these weighted pressure plates, I'll get into those maybe in a future episode, but not now. The idea between wooden and stone pressure plates and buttons, you see I have a wooden button here, is that you can, um, is let's say with a pressure pl uh, pressure plate. Oh, didn't want to do that. You play plus plow. Press it down. <laughs> if you throw something on top of it, it'll activate it. So um, a stone pressure plate doesn't do that. You probably all know this, and I know it might be a little redundant, but yeah it's not activated but anyways let's get back so each of these items that I've just mentioned here have a redstone signal of 15 blocks as you see here this is 15 blocks and as you can see the redstone uh, right here that's how you mine it you mine a redstone ore which is this right here and then uh, when you mine it, you get redstone, which is basically this. Um, this where you could, it's basically just wiring, but you have to do it correctly to actually use it correctly. So let's get here. So if I take this bow right here, it is faced correctly. There is no redstone signal here. So. This is why I used a uh, wooden button. If oh, didn't want to do that. Say if I shoot the if I shoot the button, then we could see that the redstone signal goes exactly to where um, all the others are, and the redstone signal has uh, a brighter or darker color depending on how much redstone signal it's receiving. So there's a few ways to use redstone. This way, um, this is a way that's not covered. It's pretty simple. Um, it's a way to make redstone signals travel upward or downward. And then basically, here I covered it to make you, to make you, show you how um, redstone works when it goes up and down. So let's see if we shoot the uh button I missed it goes up I'll take that button back 
and then like uh when it gets down the redstone signal is taken out and it goes back to its original state as it was before so that and then that and then there's a little delay in the um redstone traveling up and down but you can that doesn't really matter that much so um here we have a few items this is a redstone repeater so if i just take everything out of my inventory redstone repeater it basically um delays the redstone signal and it re it basically um what's the word um uh, magnifies the redstone signal so let's say over here this redstone signal is oh, about dead almost if i have if i put a redstone uh i'll just get this right here if i put a redstone repeater um the signal would be sort of revived and it, it would go further so that's the point of a redstone repeater and to have delays so if we go over here um this is basically like that but with this lever um this goes almost automatically oh there we go almost automatically when we hit the lever so um where does the restaurant repeater come in it comes in right here as you can see it has two sort of uh levers like redstone torches sticking up if we right click it once it moves back one tick another one another tick another one another tick and another one it resets back to uh one tick so you only use redstone repeaters when you want redstone to be um delayed so if we so how we see here it's just a little delayed it doesn't really impact it as much let's put it back um by the last ticks so if we do it it has a long delay turning on and turning off as opposed to this where it has little delay so that's what I like about redstone repeaters and then here's another tricky part which is the redstone comparators so redstone comparators I don't get that much I just know uh, some ways to use it this is a crafting recipe uh, um, and this is a crafting recipe for the redstone repeater three stone two torches and one redstone and then this one surprisingly doesn't use redstone like pure redstone it uses three stones another quartz and three redstone torches so right here i have an exa examples of how to use uh... redstone <laughs> Let's look comparators. I don't really memorize all the names. I'm just going to grab a repeater real quick. So, over here, let me grab this and this. So, we have a cauldron right here. It's not emitting any redstone signal, but once we put a water bucket in, it starts emitting a redstone signal that's three blocks up strong. Whoops. And it's three blocks strong so because it's three blocks if we took um it depends on how full the cauldron is is how may how much redstone is uh sent out the output of redstone so if we take one thing the redstone signal decreases to two blocks another one one block another one the redstone signal is gone so if we put this back and say we put a repeater here then um, there'd be a really strong redstone signal coming out of here and then you can continue it for however long you wanted and well how long however long it you could have it and then if you take one glass bottle it would still be there but then if you took one last glass bottle it would stop. So that's because this redstone signal is uh, only one block, uh, only travels one block, so it only travels to here, not to here. 
And say we move this redstone repeater one more out and see how it works. So let's fill it up completely. Yep, it's strong redstone signal. Take one thing out of it, no more. So this is how this is pretty good. Another way that you could uh, use redstone is with hoppers. So hoppers emit a redstone signal whenever they have an object. So let's take this redstone here. I just use redstone, but if we threw it in the hopper, then a redstone signal would uh, occur, would appear. Let's say we uh, kept on spitting them out. Um, and the redstone signal does not increase depending on how many items there are. So if you threw all of them in... Oh wait, does it? Yeah, I think it does. Never mind. So if we took out um, the 64, it only travels one block. If we put 64, it travels two or three... Yeah, three blocks. So yeah, that's how... Um, this works. And then that's nifty for um, contraptions that you can use. So these are basically like the um, basic ways how to use redstone comparators. I tend to normally not use comparators that much because they're pretty confusing to me. But this is one subject I like a lot. And this is using pistons and sticky pistons. So this is a piston, how you craft it is how it looks. Three wood on top, it doesn't have to be any particular wood, but it can't not be logs. Four cobblestone, two here, two there, an iron, and redstone. So, um, yeah, this is sticky piston. Once you put it down, and the rain is annoying, uh, excuse me, and... So it's daytime, and then here we have a sticky piston, which doesn't look that different, but if you look closely, it has a sticky end. So how this works is you put a sticky piston and a slime ball in the crafting table like so, and you get a sticky piston. So how these work, so I'm going to take a chiseled sandstone right here. So this is a piston, this is a sticky piston, obviously. So, um, once I step on the pressure plate, they push one block ahead. Same for this one. So, let's put one block right there and right there. That one pushes, and it does not, the block does not stick. This one does push, and the block actually does stick, so it's pretty cool. You could, and then you push this, push this, push this, push this this and I think this works up to um, eight blocks but I'm not sure I don't know how many blocks I've used two three four five six seven eight nine ten okay eleven never mind I don't know how many blocks you can use it for but you can use it for a while until here so how many blocks is that? I'm just curious. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So 13 blocks. And then the um, C piston I imagine is the same, but, um, but it ha sticks to one block. So um, this is one way how uh, C pistons can be used with doors. So um, let me just take this nether brick, put one here and put one here. So this is one way uh, that y you can use um, sticky pistons to retract um, blocks or extend them out. And there's one issue with this actually. So um, as you can see, this redstone torch is powering this block but not this block. That's because um, redstone cannot power air so if we put a block right here it would power this block which would power this block and then it extends and once we step on the pressure plate it retracts that is because um, redstone torch is not receiving any redstone signal while um, this redstone is turned off 
But then redstone, once, uh, once if there's a block near it that receives a redstone signal, its redstone signal turns off, which makes it really useful. So, since this is powering this dirt block, this redstone torch is not um, is not emitting any redstone signal. So here's the way to use the um, way to use redstone. I'm just gonna take one of each, really. So this is how it works. You walk in. I should cover this, and you walk in and it closes right behind you so it's an automatic door it's pretty nifty and I'll show you how to make it I will actually make it myself okay so I need to find a good uh, thing of land I can't do that nope I'm gonna clear this land real quick um, take water bucket and just clear that land a little bit so it's easier to work with no grass or anything in the way so let's start off by placing down our sticky pistons so we want one to be here and let's place our uh, redstone torch this has to be uh, on the ground because of technical reasons and redstone is really picky so we put this so it powers both of the blocks and these are sticky pistons so if this is going to be our walkway and then um, the sticky piston takes normally two blocks so let's we're not going to put anything on this block but we're going to put on this one so we so I actually don't need that I don't believe nope so when we put the sticky with the torches down this is where we're going to walk and that um, is going to be covered until we walk on a pressure plate or another form of triggering a redstone signal. So we have to dig a little under this, um, like so. You have to dig one under the uh, one under the sticky pistons, right under, and then two on the head of the sticky pistons. So let's do that for each of them, and then dig there. And then we also need a redstone signal to be received when we step on a um, step on a pressure plate. So I'm gonna actually just cover this. So our pressure plate, for um, convenience sake, is gonna be here and here. So we need this redstone signal to go here, down here, over to the other side, over here. So this links these two together, so once one of them at is activated, they're both activated because they're the same distance from where the redstone is being activated. So you're going to put one on this side, and uh, yeah, we basically just made it. Yep, it works. Just put something right here, put pressure place right there. And just to be um, a little more uh, sensitive about how it looks, I'm gonna put place this here, um, this here, this here. They don't need that one. Sorry, it is a little messy because I haven't recorded a YouTube in a while and I actually have to apologize for that. I'm having a lot of tests and quizzes this week and probably will not be able to record until um, um, spring break, which is next week. And then there we have our door, which let's cover this piece up. And for a nice touch. Yeah, so there. Walk out. And our redstone is done. There's one thing I have to explain on this one since it's a little more exposed. Um, so when we uh, activate, I'm going to put a wooden pressure plate. Um, not that. Pressure plate. And a bow. 
and a bow I said <laughs> so on both sides I basically did what I did um, because right here um, while the pressure plate is being activated these two um, redstones are being activated depending on which one is shot at or stepped on and then we have to have this one this block here because it'll power this block and it'll basically since this is powered it'll tell this redstone torch to turn off and that is basically why I did what I did we don't really need these but I was always taught using them let's take that back and um yeah so this is all that I have for my first episode of redstone tutorials but if you um if you want more redstone tutorials then don't hesitate to ask um, post on the comments below saying you want another redstone tutorial and tell me what you want me to do and this horse is crazy <laughs> He doesn't like me. Anyways, yeah, guys. So leave a comment down in the descriptions below. Um, tell me what you want me to do. Tell me um, what type of redstone you want me to do. Tell me if you want another video. Tell me if you want me to make this a series or just quit because I love redstone. I know some people don't know how to use redstone. I somewhat do. But, um, yeah. Oh, and there's one thing. So, water and redstone do not mix. Whenever, um, whenever you put water down, be mindful of your redstone because it will destroy it. You'll get all your redstone back, of course, but it's going to be a mess to put back, especially if it's not as simple as this and in future episodes if you want me to do them I still oh shoot <laughs> I still want the descript the comments below I it'll, it gets pretty complicated so I'm not gonna lie it took me a long time to learn but it was really rewarding since I could redstone for my friends and redstone for me and make traps make secret entrances into mountains I can make a lot of stuff. So, yeah, guys. So, leave that comment down in the description below, and I will see you next time. And I probably won't have another video out till next week. Sorry, but see you guys. Peace.